The following video shows how to add a video player for a Silverlight application of Microsoft Expression Blend 3. So we're going to continue uh, working on the same file uh, for the iPhone that we've added this main component. We added a button and coming from Flash, the first thing I wanted to find out is what are the video capabilities for Silverlight. So let's zoom out here. Let's take our main component drag them off the stage so this will not be viewable when we actually run the application okay so let's grab the phone and what we want to do is rotate this 90 degrees and there you go okay so there's most most people view video uh, the long way so I uh, Probably a lot of people are going to get um, stuck on finding the video component. It's right here, but uh, as you can see in the controls, it's not showing up. At least for me, it's not. So uh, you could use this search text field, select media element, and then you just simply drag it out. Draw your video player. You'll need to set the source in the properties panel. I already have a Iron Man trailer. Open that up. I'm working on something big. So in conclusion, it looks like adding a video player to a Silverlight application is pretty easy. All you need to do is grab, use a media element component, uh, place it on a stage, set its source, and you're good to go. Um, future movies will include adding play, stop, pause controls, um, a volume control, uh, dynamically setting the video, and possibly integrating with YouTube. This concludes this video in adding a video player for Silverlight and Microsoft Expression Blend 3. I look forward to any questions or comments you may have. Thanks.